Hey Aquarius, how are you? We are working on your April 1 through the 7 reading here, the Twin Flame Soulmate journey that you're on. We are looking at all aspects, what's happening right now for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, a couple of announcements. We are going to be doing a live on Friday night, March 30th for the Libra um, full moon. We'll be doing a live uh, Twin Flame reading. And the other thing is if you're interested in joining the Empress Club, which is all about the Twin Flame stuff, there is a link below to join the Empress Club. Um, we do daily guidance. We do all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, and if you can't see the link, you get a click. If you're watching on, um, on your phone, you got to click on that little arrow and down it goes. And you'll see all the stuff below the video. Uh, the other thing is we're opening up private readings for April. So if you're interested in private reading, by all means, help yourself. So let's talk about you guys. What is happening for Aquarius? I've been doing a lot of private readings for Aquarius lately. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Okay. So here we go. Yeah. <laughs> that came up last night. Okay. So Ten of Swords. This is the ultimate surrender position. This is like... He's already dead with Ten Swords. You, you know, like one sword would have been sufficient... But it's more or less like you have been so resistant to some idea for such a long time. You and or your person, right? And it's like finally it's overwhelming you. Finally you're getting to the place where you can see that this is um, a soulful connection. Uh, your person. It looks like your person is being the most resistant here. Ah, there's the star card. It hasn't come up recently. I love it. I love it. I love it. Very nice. Okay, yes, on the spiritual path here. On the spiritual path, Aquarius. I realize um, it doesn't jive with your very, very sharp brain uh, in terms of logic. But, um, you know, that's why resistance, that's why the resistance. And, you know, your person is doing a fair amount of it too. So um, you see it though. Ace of Cups. Look at the springtime nature of this. Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. He looks like he's on a golf course, doesn't he? He's like, <laughs> I always think that. I'm like, why is he standing in the sand trap? <laughs> so uh, this is about uh, being worthy of love and being self-nurturing and then being able to be nurturing to your person. Okay, Aquarius. This is like self-value, self-worth, being happy in yourself this is the bunny, you know, like April 1st is Easter. There's the bunny right there. Um, so why is your person being so resistant? It's sort of like because it's magic, right? Resistance, magician, star. It's being resistant, and you can you get your head around this too, It being resistant to something that they can't see, feel, taste, touch, or smell, right? It's like it's spirit, and if I can't logically measure it in some important way, I feel resistance to it. But your person is a powerful manifester. It's like they almost don't know that about themselves. And they have manifested their dream come true, which is you, Aquarius. This is an Aquarian card, okay? So they are manifesting you. And here you are <laughs> in your Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacleness. Uh, so the relationship, you are the, the light bearer, all right? You are the standard bearer. You are the, you are the North Star, all right? And so in doing so, you are having a tremendously healing, powerful um, effect on this relationship. So it can move forward. There's passion. There's definitely passion involved now. As above, so below. So we're manifesting all the earthly, you know, the, you got the Queen of Pentacles, very earthy. So there's a lot of passion here. There's nice fire energy there. And y'all are now on the path, on the spiritual path here. That's so nice. Tell, tell, me, tell me more about this Ten of Swords over here. The resistance. Nine of Pentacles. Because it wasn't grounded... Because it didn't seem, it didn't look like it was, it didn't look like it was supposed to. So this was real resistance around this. Two of Pentacles. Finally, it's like go with the flow. 
Okay. Finally, it's like go with the flow. It one, you or your person may have thought the other person was like too good for you. You know how that feels? It's like, Oh, they could never love me. And you finally get, you finally get it. You're like, I'm awesome too. <laughs> of course you are. What are you talking about? You're Aquarius. Of course you're awesome. They have manifested you and you didn't know this, but you do now. They manifested you. You just had to like succumb to the idea. You just had to let go of your very 20th century thinking about this relationship applying it to this relationship and instead freeing yourself up to be, to suspend your disbelief, right? And then because of that, you are on the path. You guys are now on the spiritual path with passion. Queen of Wands. I like it. I like it. I like it. You, your job here is to understand the value, your self-worth, and also understand the value of this relationship being very grounded. They have manifested you. They have manifested you, Aquarius. Um, and it is a tremendously healing experience. And it look at this. So this, so now the universe. Now the path is clear. You're moving away from things that don't work for you, moving toward this soulful connection. See the Ace of Cups up there. Where is it? Ace of Cups. Um, happening soon. This is springtime. All these cards are very spring, springy. Springy. So if some of you, this is a new relationship. You've just been manifested. For some of you, this is like a reawakening of the partner into their massive co-creative stance, co-creating with the universe. And you're off and on your way. Aquarius, I love you. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to do an extended read for this. Um, three cards for you, how to proceed, Aquarius. Three cards, messages from your person for you. Uh, three cards for how this plays out. Um, and then we'll get the, uh, universe to offer us some guidance and we'll look to the Oracle as well for guidance. All right. So they've manifested you. Here you are. Here we go. <laughs> All right, my loves. See you on the other side. Click on the extended link. There's an uh, extended link for April, April, April 1st through the 7th, uh, for, um, Aquarius and click on that and I'll see you over there.